Hey everybody, it's Will. Just wanted to show you guys uh, the first completed, or one of the first completed parts from uh, the new uh, DMG Mori NLX machine. Uh, so it's uh, got all the interior and exterior work done all in one operation. Uh, there does still need to be uh, basically a, a finial added on uh, and then the texture gets put on the last operation, but that can't be done altogether. So anyway, uh, we just got the first program working a couple hours ago. Uh, bar feed still isn't quite working right with it. Uh, you know, the training process has taken some some time to get it all sorted out. Um, but um, they're going to be back next week uh, and should have some more stuff going. But anyway, I just wanted to show you just like, I mean, I'm, I'm genu genuinely floored by how awesome this uh this part is, uh, this is just a brass part, um, because brass is, a, you know, an easy material to start off with. It's got the, uh, the mill for the clip, uh, and, you know, tolerances are, are really nice and tight, and so, like, these clips even sort of, uh, they sort of snap in, uh, really just amazing. Uh, so I want to take you out to the, uh, shop, but I just wanted to show you, yeah. You know, First part up and close and personal, screws on beautifully to uh, a body. This is just a titanium body and grip that I had left over from uh, prototyping. Um, let's go out. Actually, before we go out, I need to show you guys some parts that I got in. So, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, these are converters, uh, the you know, parts that hold the ink. Um, about 5,000 of them. They uh, have a 5,000 minimum order, so I'll have converters for a little while. Uh, so I got nibs in. Um, there's uh, titanium and gold ones just came in recently, and uh, they're, they're packaged up over here. These are packages of 50 clips. Uh, there's a ton of clips over here, and then here are the uh, steel nibs. So all those are in now. So now we have literally every part except for Damascus steel. And I still haven't quite gotten a word on when that's gonna be here. It's supposed to be early February. It's early February now and uh, so far, pretty sure that uh, they'll be shipping, I think February 17th via UPS. So it's gonna be you know mid to late February before actually Damascus shows up. Which is not great, but. what's well, got to happen um, on the good so this is the controller for the DMG Mori it's uh, two touch screens with some buttons down at the bottom um, and uh, we can go into the program section and I wanted to show you guys their simulation that can be done um, which is pretty amazing to me that uh, instead of actually having to cut everything and you know see that or to, to you know test out a program and do simulations, so we can actually this is a solid model. It's not a, a perfectly beautiful solid model, but it's a pretty good solid model. So this is a simulation of the, of the actual part. It's uh, the cap. So it starts doing operation size of face. That's a drill. This is uh, cutting threads. Lots of passes for cutting threads. Actually, the first thing in there was uh, cutting the interior uh, arc. And then this is doing threads, lots of threads. Uh, OD roughing, OD, that's outside diameter. Uh, finish, that's a, uh, this is now secondary spindle. So that was facing, then a little bit of boring bar work, then some threading. Now it's OD, outside diameter work, outside diameter, finish pass. And then that last thing was a mill uh, to do the slot for the clip. Now, uh, if we go in here, close that. Uh, we can go into the auto mode up here. Uh, we can do fountain pen cap. So I've, uh, there's been some other programs we've written. 
um, and working on. This is just the first one that's really working. Uh, and now um, we can go ahead and actually run the part. Sadly, because of high pressure coolant, you can't see a whole lot of some of these things um, because the coolant just completely covers it up. I've, I got a GoPro, it still doesn't do much better because it gets completely soaked inside. Um, but, you know, I, I'll show you guys, you know, kind of how loud it gets in here. Uh, some of the operations are incredibly fast, some of them are loud. That's a compressor, I'm gonna go ahead and stop for a second. Now the compressor's off, we can go ahead and run the program. That's doing a facing operation. High pressure coolant, obviously already screwing up the view. This is amazing if you can see what's going on. Can't. So doing a 2.2 inch drill uh, in less than three seconds. Pretty awesome. This is a boring bar that's, uh, can't really tell what's going on in there. Boring bar that's doing the interior arc. Um, I'm creating a nice uh, plate for threads to go on. So that was a rough pass. This, this is the finished pass. Start seeing things a little bit better. Now we're going to do the step acne threads. And the <laughs> alarm for the coolant. That seems to happen sometimes. Not really sure. Uh, entirely what's happening there. I believe, uh, because I have a fixed rate high pressure system, it's not being able to throw out the coolant that it wants. But now it's being turned on again, it throws out as much coolant as it needs. That was doing uh, the OD uh, outside diameter. And I was doing the outside diameter also. Ooh. So the sub spindle just came and picked up. Can't really see that, but that is a scary moment. So now they're transferring parts. There was an air blow in there to make sure that nothing was on the inside of the collet. Now we're gonna do cutoff, which is uh, an amazing operation that you can't really see very well. So now the part is over here on the sub spindle. You can kind of see it there. And the high pressure coolant comes on again. And can't see much. Alright, so we were doing a drill first. And then a boring bar to create the profile where the clip goes in. a little higher up. It's still basically impossible to see in there. Now we're doing threading on the back where the finial screws in. Now we get to do outside diameter work. Making that nice, beautiful service finish on the outside that will then get texture put on as the last operation after this. Now we're doing a uh, 
spot for the clip. That was just milled on. Just so you guys can sort of see what's going on. That last, uh, yeah, this lathe has live tools. So, this mill spins 4,000 RPM. Uh, it can do up to 10,000, but uh, don't need to really max it out here. So, this end mill spins and creates the slot that the, uh, the clip slides into. So that's it. Finished part. Long video. I hope you guys are uh, as excited about this as I am. Um, you know, today is the first day we've been able to get some good parts out, or I've been able to get some good parts out of the new machine. Uh, it's taken a long time. Took way too long to get the uh, subspindle chuck, but now things are here. Things are going to start moving a lot faster. Um, you know, in the the post, I'll I'll show you guys what's going on. Other other than just machining. Um, but pins are uh, going to be on your way soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.